Let's take a look at question seven again from our study guide. It asks, if triangle ABC is dilated from point B by a scale factor of one fourth, what are the coordinates of A prime? Now, again, this is a really challenging question, but we really know everything we need to know to figure this out. So the first thing, remember that when a dilation is performed, the point of dilation doesn't move. So B, our point of dilation, isn't gonna move. A and C, however, will either move further away from B or closer to B, depending on the scale factor. Since the scale factor is greater than one, um, since the scale factor is greater, or sorry, since it's not greater than one, um, they're gonna move closer to B. So let's take a look at this. Um, these are the same points, point B, oops, sorry, I'm filming this on my iPhone, uh, point B and point A. Instead of, drawing the line, the line segment from A to B, what I've done is broken it down into the horizontal distance and the vertical distance, because we don't know yet um, really how to talk about this diagonal distance between them, and it is in fact actually an irrational number. So when we look at the distance from A to B, horizontally, A is one unit from B, and vertically, A is five units from B. All right, so when we apply that scale factor of one-fourth, so scale factor of one-fourth, um, the new side lengths of the triangle will be one-fourth of the original lengths. So if you recall, scale factor um, with a dilation is going to be the direct factor that directly impacts the lengths of the sides. So for example, if the scale factor had been three, the side lengths would be three times as long. Since the scale factor is one-fourth, the side lengths are going to be one fourth as long, um, or we could just think about dividing them by four, since multiplying by one fourth and dividing by four are, are mathematically the same. Um, so if we consider where A is originally, I know that it's going, its new uh, horizontal distance from B is going to be one fourth of what it is now. So if I just kind of eyeball this, I'm gonna move it over three fourths of the way closer to B three-fourths of one unit, that is. Um, then, if I look at the vertical distance, that's going to also be one-fourth of what it is now. Now, the vertical distance is five, so we have to know what five, what one-fourth of five units is. So if we take a look at that, that's just simple multiplication. Uh, we know one-fourth of one unit is just one-fourth. Uh, we could think about our identity property of multiplication. Um, so A prime will be a fourth to the left of B, or we could think of it as being three-fourths of the way closer to B. Then one-fourth of five is five-fourths, or one and one-fourth. So again, just fraction multiplication. Um, so that means A prime is going to be one and one-fourth units above B instead of five. So this vertical distance of five units is going to decrease, and it's going to become one-fourth of what it currently was, and one-fourth of five is one and one fourth. So just kind of approximating on this graph, um, this is approximately where I think A prime would be. So now to actually figure out those coordinates, we could do it two ways. Um, and the way I did it really is starting from what I know about B. Sorry, I made a mistake. That's why we should do our work in pencil, kids. Um, when I know that point B is at five comma two, so its X coordinate is five and its Y coordinate is two, I can use that to determine where A prime is. Because I said that um, from A to A prime, A prime is going to now be one fourth of the distance that, that A was from B when we're talking about horizontal distance. So if I think that B horizontally on the X axis is at five, if I subtract one fourth of a unit from five, I'm going to get the new X coordinate, oops, sorry, new X coordinate for A prime, four and three fourths. Similarly, um, if I do the same thing with the vertical distance, so we said this vertical distance right here is five units, and if I find, you know, we said one-fourth of that is going to be one and one-fourth, so that means that A prime is now just going to be one and one-fourth above B. Since it's above, I'm going to add one and one-fourth to that Y value because I because this point is above two, I subtracted over here because this point was to the left of five. And we know on our horizontal number line, when we subtract, we move left. On our uh, vertical number line, when we're adding, we're moving up. So this gives us the new coordinates of A prime. 
Now, this is a pretty challenging problem and we're not going to have one quite so challenging on the quiz, um, but I just wanted to go over it because it doesn't hurt to understand it whatsoever. All right, I hope that helps.